All right. In the last exciting episode, we delivered to El Centro. He looks like he's dead. Taking us over the limit, we were able to pay off our loan. I now have no money, mm-hmm. but we have the bank and truck dealers. So we're going to take out a 400000 loan. Do it. I know. It's going to be a big loan. We gotta have at least one big job by tomorrow. We're gonna go into the red probably for one day. I would imagine at least one day because it's six thousand dollars a day. Woo, doggy! We're gonna try to hold some of that back for collateral uh, or whatever you call it. So now we have uh, we can look at the Peterbilt and or we can go to Kennedy. What do you guys want? I guess it doesn't matter because by the time I pick, you're gonna be. I like the way the Peterbilt looks from the outside. Let's look at them both. We can just go. We're going to fast travel to the Peterbilt dealership. Um, it's not driving, Dad. It's trucking. Huh? It's not driving. It's trucking. Trucking. Watch your mouth. So we'll have some... Tra- oh, we'll have trade-in value, too. That's good. I forgot that we could, we're going to sell the truck for $30,000. Um... So this this first truck will be eighty eight thousand or more. I want to have a sleeper cab. I really do. Um, so let's take a look at our our custom our current configuration. We're going to customize the configuration. Because doesn't that mean you don't have to, you don't actually you, you can't sleep if you don't have a sleeper cab? Right. You can't. You'd have to stop at hotels, which I don't know, or sleep in the seat. I don't know how you do that though. That'd be really. Oh, I just unplugged my headphones. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. I have to get this. Ooh. Ooh, don't, don't get that I, I can't help it. That's all I can get. Don't get it. Well, don't we can go. upgrade it. It's not a big deal, Seth. Get another freaking truck. What's the difference? Uh, 200 gallon. We definitely want to do... We, we definitely want to go up to the 200 gallon tank. I don't want a 150 gallon tank. That's silly. So we're going to do that. We only have the bottom motor. <laughs> oh, Fuller 10 speed, 13 speed. I don't need an engine retarder. I don't really like the retarder, actually. Uh, I like this cabin. Yeah, that looks nice. Very simple, modern. All right, so customizations. Nothing really. Oh, you know what? We have the steampunk looks. Steel Beast. Let's do it. <laughs> so if you bought the game and you if you followed it. Oh, Seth. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, so anyway. <laughs> I don't know if it picked it up. Uh, Seth just totally goosed it, man. Okay, so no sleeper cab, man. We're we're gonna be living it hard, dude. This guy's gonna have to sleep on the seats. We're gonna have to try to find hotels. Dang, that sucks. But what are you gonna do? Hotels cost money. No, Uh, they used to actually in the older version of the game they did cost money, but uh, yeah. So not a whole lot of options available yet. Let's see what they are, though. We got. That's cool. We can add the front mirrors. I don't like those mirrors, though. Do you remember in the last one? I didn't really find that they help much. Um, what do we got here? Nothing. Bull bars not available. You could have white wheels or fancy wheels. I think we'll go with the fancy wheels. Why not? Color match bumper. Yeah, we got to do the color match bumper. I don't look at the prices. Like, this is going to be my truck. This is not going to be some other person's truck. Standard tire. What, the stars? what do you got here? 110. It doesn't really matter. They don't really make a difference. Um, what do we got here? Door handles. Nah, like this doesn't matter. That's not really it. Uh, nah, I don't really see that having to be something. Exhaust. We got main yeah. mirrors. There we go. We want the painted mirrors because they match. Honestly, we've only added like $4,000 to the price. That's not bad. What does this do? Cabin deflectors. We don't have any yet. Standard sun shield. Oh, it's cool. It's color matched. Yeah, let's do it. We can do this. Rear rims. We're going to do a 
America. Chrome standard that matches what we have. And... America like is the last unicorn. <laughs> the last unicorn. You know, I like those. I do like the idea of the white flaps. Let's see what that looks like. Um, white Peterbilt flaps. Because that kind of goes with the truck. Like the color scheme, kind of. Eh. Does it look too white, Seth? Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Yes, we're Evelyn. What's funny? That Seth farted on the video? All right. So I think that's all we can do. So this is my truck. This is my specialty truck. What's with the Let's stars confirm. The, tires. See that? the what? There's like glowing stars. Well, you can change the you can change the tires too, but I I'm, there's nothing really different. So uh, all right. So this is the truck that we're gonna buy. It's gonna cost us a hundred thousand, oh, under a hundred thousand. <laughs> so we're gonna purchase that. Boop. Sorry. Oh, Wait. trade in. Dar. Yeah. You want to? Yes. So. It's going to give us a little cutscene here. This is your cool new truck. This is your cool new truck. This is your cool. This is your cool. This is your cool new truck. With a really crazy paint scheme. So anyway, if you followed the game, I think I said this already, but... Okay, I get it. That's my truck. Yep, there she is. <laughs> Enter. Nope, you have to look at the cutscenes. Okay, well. Ooh, this is a nice truck. <laughs> see, see how much bigger the window is? I don't know if you noticed, but with the other truck, the window was super small. So, Okay, so we're going to hop in here, and then let's go ahead and... Um, we need to... Let's see. We're going to go to our garage. Ah! Okay, so that just stuck his ice water on my bare arm. It was a little bit cold. Thank you. All right, company man. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. Garage manager. Manager. Me. Select the garage. We have our San Francisco tiny garage. Oh my gosh. Please don't do that. Seriously. All right, so uh, we need to upgrade. What? Seth is going crazy from the factory. Uh, going crazy. We're gonna we're gonna be in a world of hurt here. Do not spend any more money that you don't Do need not to. tell me what I can and can I do if I rock okay, upgrade. It's gonna cost us a hundred and eighty thousand dollars to upgrade. Well there's oh. nothing for it. And so whoa. I think it's gonna give us a cutscene. This is my base. This ah, is my base. Whoa. Truck headquarters. And we get to do three sweeping pans before we actually get to go in. <laughs> Paybacks. Oh, you actually get to go in it? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, you park in it. So how much money do I have left? Oh, gosh. Well, I'm... This is going to be really close, guys. Please don't. Just like okay, so now we need to go back to our... Um, let's see, the truck dealers. Looks like you, Dad. Yeah, that's why I picked him. Because he, he does kind of look like me. Pretty close, yeah. Let's see what Kenveth has to offer. Visit selected dealer. Ken, stupid. We're going to travel to Kenveth. Ken, stupid, Dad. Shut up, Seth. Okay, so this truck, we're not trading in. We're going to purchase that right. Hundred twenty-two thousand. We're looking at right now. Let's see. Exit the truck. We are looking at absolute bottom line. I am not messing around with thingamajigger. Whoever's cheaper gets the sale. So uh, we could we could buy Peterbilts. I could buy a pair of those. I feel like I'm cheating though. Is that cheating, guys? No. Uh, I could buy two of these and have two drivers. I just, I don't know. I feel like 
Are you guys going to be mad at me if I use two of these trucks? No, they're not. To get my company going without having to take another loan out? Oh, it's so hard to decide. I've had such a backlash of people who don't like the mods to begin with. But we don't know if in the game these trucks are going to cost more. No, it's been more than just tank cop. It's been a lot of people have been like, don't use mods. Okay, so let's look and see what else. The base truck here is 118 so we could afford this and still have $10,000 left to hire a driver. Let's do that. I'll keep it fair. I know people are going to, they would prefer to see this, I think. I bet you there's gonna be so many but we're gonna do one. We're gonna do one customization to this truck, and that's gonna be that we're gonna paint it sunny yellow. No, the, paint it like a what? metallic. No, I'm doing that for uh, for Jade Storm. She likes the yellow trucks. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be driving this one. Who's but Jade one of my viewers. Yeah, she's one of the viewers. She, she wanted yellow. We did a yellow truck, Jade. Come on. <laughs> Black. <laughs> no, we're not gonna forget her. She likes the yellow. We're doing a yellow truck. This this truck will be yellow just for you. I won't be driving it though, but it's yellow? for you. Jade, yellow? this is for you. We've had a yellow truck, now we have another yellow truck. Yay, Jade likes Evelyn likes yellow too. So Jade, you got Evelyn on your team. Seth is on he wants green, I'm sure, right? No, like a metallic awesome looking color. Yeah. Okay, well we could do metallic is, yellow. This is the color of Wiz. The <laughs> This is the color of Wiz. Okay, we'll do a custom yellow. How does that no, sound? No, no yellows. I yes, don't want yeah, this will look great. You'll see. You'll see. This no, is going to look awesome. It's not going to look awesome. It's going to look like pee. It's shut up. It's not going to look like pee. Shut up. Pee. It's going to look like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a banana. We want a banana. Your bananas. <laughs> a banana truck. We're going to make this like this. Too bright. Ooh. Okay, wait, Can I see mine? Wait, wait, wait. You like that? Wait, that's wait, pretty wait, cool, wait, huh? There. That's pretty that's cool. Not orange in yellow. Of light. What about the, oh, wait, so wait, that's what you mean by looking at it from different angles? Looking at it from different yeah, yeah, it turns orange and yellow. That's pretty oh, sweet. Oh. Let's see if we make it blue, though. What if we do this? Oh. I have like a blue. I don't think this really oh, does so much of anything, but. You have to do the second one where it's orange. That's I know. No, I, want, I think that's cool. I think that that's really... It's like a sunburst. Where does the, where does the blue come in? Oh, it makes it more expensive, but okay. So there we go. Jade, that is for you. We have a yellow truck with I some like cool Jade. orange on highlights. Jade. He, now Seth's on your team, too. It's so we no got everybody on Jade's team. It's Jade, no you just won the game. Mm, it's no longer with. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Somebody else can pick the next color. Here we go. I'm a subscriber. I don't want to trade in. Three, I want to purchase. Three, All right. I'm a subscriber. Do you want to drive your new truck? No. And it is going to go to California. Yep. And it's going to make me pay for that too, right? Daddy. Wait, sh just a minute. And then pick the target slot. We want it to be this slot. Boom. Daddy. Thank you for your purchase. We will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in San Francisco immediately. Please don't. Trucks all here have already. It's a have regular insurance paid already. Interesting. Daddy. We did that before. So, yes, Seth. What do you want, Seth? What? Since what? I'm a Your next truck metallic green with a little metallic blue. Yeah. Yay! All right, so. so who are you gonna choose? Brig it. Brig it J. Brig it J and you're greet. Allowed, you're not allowed to have females. Only, only males. Oh, says who? Actually, in the other game, I think the female driver was my best driver. Really? Yep. She made the most money easily. Well, Let's see. She's got. Check and see Bridget's our highest, our highest driver rating at 1.7. None of them are good. Except for Bridget. No, she's not good either. But this guy has a lot of perks. But he's Martin M. But he's like the worst rated. No, he's yeah, not. He's, he's average with everybody. Else. He looks like Elliot Marzulli. Okay, so anyway. This guy looks like, uh, what's that guy's name? Sully? No, I can't think of it. He's the actor. Um, he got, the guy that plays Sully. Uh, J Goodman. John Goodman. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I have him. And you know okay, so I think, it? let's see, she's got two, was that fragile or time sensitive? She's got two, but she's got no distance. You really want drivers with distance to start with. Um, so Donald R would be a candidate. Victor A would be a candidate. And he would be, oh, yeah. 
He's this guy's got the most, I think, usable stuff out of all of them. So we're gonna do. Yeah, uh, well, hopefully we won't we won't regret it. Is there a signing bonus? Pick the garage and then pick the slot. Boop. All right, so he's hired. So now here we go. We got enough money to make one day's payment. So we need to get a job out there and fast. So we are currently here in San Diego. Excellent. They left us there. I just remembered. Yes. That that has caffeine in it. Mm. So it's going to take even harder for us to eat. No, the diet doesn't have caffeine, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, Lord, I'm going to be up all night. I'm sorry. So we are going to take the most expensive job that we can find, which is this one. So we I'm could go to Sacramento. No, we'll go to we'll go to Truckee. Yeah. I know exactly where this is going to. It's going to be to that to the dinosaur drop off. Dinosaur? Where we were talking about dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, so okay. so we're going to GPS to our next location. Did you mean dinosaurs? Like dinosaur drop off? Like like dino droppings? Oh, it's nice having a new truck. Too bad there's no sleeper cab. <laughs> it's gonna, that's gonna hurt. I, I, in the game, it doesn't really make any difference. I mean, honestly. I've also had a request from some viewers to see from the outside of the truck for a little while, so we'll hop back in inside and out from time to time. However, the volume gets really loud outside, so. I like that steampunk paint job. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, when we go to upgrade to the sleeper cab, it's going to erase our steampunk paint job, and we'll have to paint it again. But that's going to be a long time. I don't—we don't even have it available yet. So, this is a cool truck. I like it. I think we made the right decision upgrading. What's the matter, Seth? Well, you have to—you have to get a copy for your birthday. City horn. Since we don't have any upgrades yet, it's not <laughs> not available. Now let's see if we can blow the computer up. If I press I, nope, the dash works now. So it's not. It's just a bug with that one truck model. What happens? Uh, when you press the I button, the computer crashes. The actual computer? Yeah. Yes, Evelyn. Well, this turns so much better than the other truck. What's up? Yeah. DCTC. Oh, is that dis the Disney tour cars thing? Yeah, All right, hold on. We got to take a break for just a second, folks. <laughs> All right. So hopefully my microphone is still at the same level. I had to change positions here. I've been sitting like Indian style for the last like two hours and my legs are like freaking out. No, that's called, that's called meditating. Meditating? <laughs> that's why they call it Indian style. The Indians sit like that when they meditate. Also sit like that I was not meditating in an Indian way though. I was just sitting playing the truck game. So I've had to uh, move the microphone a little further away from my face because I'm my mic stand's not long enough to reach me yeah, where I am. Yes. What is that? Heap big Indian. Ingen. Let's see here. I'm just trying to get it so it's... There we go. That sounds better. Ingen. 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 So we're going to have to work our butts off every day. I was trying to take Jurassic Park over. So at least once a day we are delivering because... Wait a minute. Where's the delivery? It must be on the other side. Is it over here? Is that what they're showing me? You got the embryos. The embryos? Embryos. Embryos? They put them in the shaving cream can. Um, oh, for Jurassic Park, yeah. I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, he's like, the, please don't say my name in public. He's like, he's like, hey, we have Dawson. We got Dawson here. It's like, see, nobody cares. One thing I do like about this cab is I can see out the back of the truck. That's kind of a nice... Nice feature, yeah. Though, where is the back of my truck? <laughs> where? Really? <laughs> is it that low that you can't see it? I guess it probably in real life. Maybe that is how it is. All right. In real life, you could stick your head higher and probably stretch further. Where'd the freaking thing go? Freaking? The thing disappeared. 
Where did the thing go? What thing? Go? Look behind. It's on there. No, it's not. It's right there. Aww. Aww. It's so cute. It's a cute excavator. We just delivered an excavator. To Eli or somewhere? Ellie? Somebody who's from Navarre. Somebody who's from Navarre. Somebody who's from Nevada needs to comment what it is. Yeah, I know. Don't give me that look. It's a little tight back here. Trying to get out of here without scraping anything. Okay, we made it. I might have a cool paint job, but I'm not a very good driver. Look out. City horn. Why is it called posted instead of FedEx? What? It's not posted. Well, because they can't use the brand name, Seth. It's not legal. One of them used UPS. So, we are taking our inaugural delivery so they're not in the steampunk truck. It's not illegal because they're using UPS in the truck. Mm -mm. Yeah, but they called it something else, like United Parcel Staples. Circus. Hmm. What are you talking about, kid? Hmm. What are you talking about, kid? United Parcel Service. That's what UPS stands for. Oops. This truck isn't so bad. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my I can definitely gosh. tell you, in real life, truckers probably get mad about not having a sleeper cab. So... You definitely would be out of the truck for the night in a hotel, which would mean in real life you'd make less money. Look at that pretty silver pipe in my mirror. That's cool. It's a nice looking, nice looking pipe. I think it's only on one side, right? Because the small motor. Yeah. 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 Oh, Daddy. Yes, Evelyn. It's ice nose. You have a frozen nose. Frozen. Tangled or frozen? I like tangled. I'm, my vote goes to tangled. See, uh, the visibility of this truck is so much better. I feel like I'm on the road here, and like it makes it a lot easier like to stay on the road. <laughs> frozen. Yeah, Frozen was a good movie, but I think, ironically, because of the girls, I've seen Tangled more often, but or I mean Frozen more often, but I think Tangled. I I I like the characters in Tangled better. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Oh, I like this truck because it shows you the cruise control speed setting. Frozen's everything. Beginning. End. So we have 29 hours. I've got 9 hours till I have to rest. Hang on, Evelyn. And I've got... Hang on. I've got 14 hours to go on the trip, so I'm going to have to stop overnight, which means... Yeah, so we're going to drop. end up dropping... Man, that payment's going to come before I deliver this load, and that's going to be leave us with like two thousand credits or two thousand dollars credits. I know. I've been playing World of Tanks all week. <laughs> Got to get back in non-tanker mode. Pizza. Pizza. I have to ask mom when she gets home. Okay, so we're going to turn this off because everybody wants me. To Ooh, hey, there's a cool view. So there's my dinosaur truck and I, I don't know how uh, I like the daytime running lights it's pretty cool I'm weaving all over the place because I'm not driving inside the cab root advisor turning off are you happy now is everybody happy now Actually, it's pretty cool footage. I do like that. We'll probably use this as the intro. Oops. Trucks. What? Top down view. I think I need to be in the truck for the corner. So now we can do this where we can see our the speed limit and we can see the route now the downside is for those of you that want me to do this without GPS well you can't 
because these trucks all have GPS in them and there's no way to shut it off. So, no, nice snort there, Seth. No matter what I do, I can't drive without GPS. It's kind of hard to. Anybody it's just automatic. And it automatically loads the route once you pick the cargo up. You can't turn it off, so. Los Angeles, Bakersfield. You're going to Los Angeles. No, we're going to Truckee. So we're going north. We'll pass through up where we were in San Diego. So we're going to have to go north through Los Angeles. I mean, we'll probably stay on the 5 the whole time, I would imagine, until we get to, uh, to the, the off-ramp for Truckee. Huh? How long 14 hours is the trip length. We were just sitting in the car going nuts because I was like, I want to move my legs. The trip to Texas took us mm, 22 hours, I think. and that much. Yeah, well, I could not walk around. we totally broke the law, too, on the trip. We, uh... We left one of the seats out and made a bed back there so that when I was driving, my wife could sleep. And then when my wife was sleeping, my wife was driving, I could sleep. And unfortunately, my wife tends to do this a lot. <laughs> so I was rolling around back there the whole time, and I'm thinking, it must just feel like that. Because you were sleep I was sleeping right over the back wheel, and I'm like, it must just feel like that while you're back here but then I my son Ryan was like man mom like weaves the whole he's like I like it better when you drive because I can actually sleep and I'm like what do you mean he's like well mom's always jerking back and forth and I'm like so it wasn't just me like I thought maybe it was just how it was but she was actually like jerking around while she's driving like you know she changes lanes real abruptly and like accelerates hard when she's going around she'll be like and I'm, I'm like in the back I'm like okay what's going on like are we having an accident and yeah, we're rolling like what's happening so I didn't sleep real well back there. And it got real hot, too. Yeah, I had to have the air conditioning on. What? I did sleep. I mean, I, I as best as I could. Like four or five hours, yeah. Four hours, probably, of bad sleep. Ooh, look at the mountains. Mm-hmm. Constant rolling back and forth. So here we have the the mountains that surround the L.A. area. And they are big. The pollution is so bad. When the, 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 Every time I've been out to Los Angeles, the pollution has been so bad that you can't really even see them. From the mountains, you can't see the ground. And from the ground, you can't see the mountains. It's just terrible pollution. Air pollution? Yeah, it was in the summer that I was there, though. I think in the wintertime it blows out. But, yeah, it was air pollution. And, you know, it's just, it's... The mountains, tra they have all those cars and stuff and uh, people... Like, Seth, there's like ten times as many people in California than there are, like, in, in Los Angeles than in Cleveland. It's it's like, I didn't like Los Angeles, honestly. I felt like it was um, a giant pothole. I hate to say that for those of you that love Los Angeles. I just, to me, it was like a dirty, smelly city. And it, parts of it were cool. Like, the Hollywood area was cool, but it was real small. And then everything else was just kind of like a slum. So, it's like, we have East Cleveland. That's our bad neighborhoods. And... Um, it just was like 90 miles of East Cleveland. Yeah. It just tons of traffic. Like the traffic was insane uh, because there's just so many people out there. And so what happens is those mountains trap in the pollution. And if there's no wind or a prevailing wind, it just sticks in the canyon there. And everybody, it just, it gets so bad that people can't go outside. Like they issue, uh, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like eco alerts. Like be careful the the weather. You know you can't go outside today because the pollution level is so high. And you know honestly, so we were talking earlier. Like some of the people are talking about how California sucks with all the regulations. But and I know I agree. I mean, it, but the reason they do that is for that exact reason because they do have those problems. There's a major air pollution problem. So. It's such a casino town. Mm -mm. It's Las Vegas is the casino town. Yes, Evelyn. No, you watched no. Frozen like fifty times. There's no way you've I watched don't it. Watch it. Yes, you yes, totally. Well, that's true. She's usually playing, like turns it on and then runs away. But she does watch it a lot. I don't watch it, but it turns on. Yeah, but she hasn't watched it twice in her life. This truck's getting okay. This truck is getting okay mileage. Hey, there's a there's a crop duster. 
He's those uh those are probably or, uh, I bet you those are orange trees. Yeah, in fact they would be. We are now in uh like on the outskirts of Barstow. I've been there before. This is the or no, nah, it's not the Napa Valley. What? Um, that's what they grow there, all over the place. So if we got off the freeway and went east, we'd run into Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park, like that area. Maybe a couple within a couple hours. I remember driving along five here and seeing all the orange groves, and also those side roads. There's orange groves all along there. It's really cool. It's like this whole like 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 hundred mile area of orange trees. But I forget what they call Is it the Joaquin Valley? I think it's called the Joaquin Valley. Joaquin Valley? No, Joaquin. Joaquin? Like J-O-Q-U-I-N or something. Say, if you say it fast, it sounds like Joaquin. Yeah, like the Joaquin Valley. Fresno. This truck handles so much better than that other truck. I can't even tell you how much better it handles. It's just, it's night and day. Mm. So, yeah, I guess you're right. Using the mods, eh. Hopefully the new trucks that they're bringing out. Yeah, I can't wait to see the classic trucks that they're bringing in because I think that'll fix some of the problems. The mods are cool, but they're just they they're just like any mods. They have they're buggy a little bit. Though I, I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with how I was expecting them to be really crappy. And and at least the the Peterbilt uh, 351 and then that 389 that I was driving, they were both nice trucks. I just did not like the field of view in the 389. It was too. You sat too far back, and the mirror was in a position where you couldn't really see the road, so you'd had to sit far back to see the mirrors, and it made you feel like you were, you know, 50 miles away from the uh, the windscreen. A very narrow view. But uh, this is, yeah, I'm happy. I like the modern trucks. I like them all. I hope they get. I hope they get a lot of. A lot of certifications so that they can, you know, make all these trucks available for the game. But, you know, the bottom line is this, you're driving a truck. <laughs> That's the game. So even if, you know, I've been kind of hard on them for having only two models available. But the truth of the matter is that the two models that they have have a lot of options. And, you know, you got the sleeper cab, non-sleeper cab. You can upgrade the interior. You can, you know, ooh, nice one. You can really, you know, move stuff around. I love the GPSs in these new trucks compared to Euro Truck. Uh, they're much larger and easier to see, and uh, so that's a good thing. You know, they, there are improvements in this game that are. Uh, the more I play it, I tell you what, man. I first played it and I'm like, nah, it's okay. And the more I play it, the more I like it. I'm actually like, it's grown on me quite a bit. So anyway, um, but you know, the trucks offer a lot of differences even within just the two models, and so I feel like. Uh, it's not the end of the world that we don't have like 50 different trucks to pick from. Huh? No. Yeah, there's no multiplayer on this. Can you, what was that? Was that Evelyn? Can you go pe uh, put a piece of wood on the fire and make, keep it going, buddy? Sorry about that. We were back. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm really... Yeah, it's a fun game. This is a, definitely a worthwhile game. And, you know, the price is so low. 20 bucks, I mean... It looks like they're having us get off here at... No, we're still going straight. Wow, I can't believe that we've made good time, really. I need to check my gauge, though, and see what we're looking at for... Uh... We'll see if I do this. Well, yep, it does bring it up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, where's the yellow truck? So we... Well, the other driver is driving the yellow truck. Whoa. Oh. She? Wow. That was close. Where is she? He's... I don't know where he is. Um, so we have two hours left before I have to rest. So we need to pull up at the next rest stop that we passed. That's that we passed. Pass. Not passed. Pass. Okay, so we'll turn this back off. All right. No. Uh, okay. Stop fighting. Make Seth rub my shoulders. He does an excellent job. I do. And Chad does too. Yes. yes. A lot of times when I'm working at that desk for hours and hours, I'm like, yeah, rub my shoulders. Guy. Why is they still up? And he means that it's like 140. 
Just think of it this way. They'll sleep in. No. So then who's going to watch John and Violet? You? I'm not waking up. Yeah, I guess he's right. Go on, bed, bed. You guys got to stay up till one o'clock in the morning. No. Go up now. All right, no yelling. The recording here. Yeah. I was like, Ryan, what happened? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. What'd you yell? <laughs> Alright, so we jumped ahead there a little bit, sorry. I kind of got quiet for a minute and figured, eh. We need to find somewhere to sleep. My guy is getting tired. Um, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything on the freeway here. We've got an hour left before he has to go night-night. I suppose we'll have to get off here in Stockton. So, I do have the GPS open, sorry. I need to see. I know. I'm fine. People use GPS in real life now. They just do. Truckers do a lot. Especially truckers. I don't think they pull up maps while driving. No, they all use GPS. I mean, rally drivers use GPS, don't they? Rally drivers? Yeah. No. They, they use, use GPS to plot out their courses. No, they think they drive the course and actually write the notes down as they drive it. They do what they call a recce. They drive it slow or something? 13 to 20. What? They drive it slow so they Yep, so they exactly. How many times do they drive over for you to know? Twice? No, once. And as they drive, they take notes. Sometimes if they don't feel comfortable, I think they can do it as many times as they want, but they have to give themselves enough time during the week to do it. So they have to show up at a certain time and... What's that? 3D actually works better when the, when the lights are out. Did I drive past it? Oh, it's it right there. Hang on, let me see if I can back up. Nope. Dang it. We'll go right to the end here and turn around. Shoot. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I thought my truck had damaged. I haven't hit anything or cra I tell you, it's once again, I just gotta say it one more time. Oh no, I can't go there, so I'm gonna have to go. Oh man. Oh no. Um, what am I gonna do? Yeah. I can make a U turn up here. That's what we'll do. I got my new truck, Ryan. You wanna see it? Look. It's uh, it's steampunk. Look. See that? Isn't that cool? It's star punk. I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm so getting a ticket. Right in front of the cop. Oh no, look at this traffic. Oh. I'm so glad I upgraded to the silver wheels. Look how nice those look. Do you like those the wheels, Ryan? Like, the stock wheels were white. What? Silver, no, in real life I think they do white a lot. The cheapest, the cheaper the trucks. I mean, obviously. I know I've seen dumb it, trucks with blue and white. Uh oh, they co it costs more to get to to have it, you know, like chromed. So, in general, if you're just buying cheap trucks for your company, they're white. Even the trucks are white. Like a lot of times, the companies don't want to spend money on liveries and stuff. They just get white trucks. See that one? That's got white. I can never figure out why this 3DS always does this though. It has a problem in this where it will put like a small. If you're not directly centered on this one, for some reason, they'll put a small, uh, like, extra character. You can set it to the side of your character a little bit to the left or right. Hmm. Is that just the game, or is that something that's a problem it's with. All of, it's, I don't know if it's just my 3DS, but, like, all the games that I have that use 3D do that. Okay. I have to re every, once it does that, I have to recalibrate the face tracking, and then it fixes it. But it only fixes it for like a week. Hmm. Is it because it's used? Do you think it had a problem? I doubt that. Ryan doubts that. It's just probably something with my face shape. It doesn't like my face shape. It's only for Japanese people. <laughs> well. It recognizes them. I guess. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's probably because I don't look like any nationality, really. Like face shape-wise, airline-wise. It's totally illegal what I just did. Tracks by your eyes, though, so. 
Let's see, where is the entrance to this place? Oh, it's a little tiny place. Great. This is going to be a nightmare getting in there. Are you freaking kidding me? I have one more egg to bring back to the area, and they decided to have a request to do that. There are three down there. You gotta go through with a giant rock. <laughs> so I gotta go all the long way around with all the enemies. The long way? I'm just gonna illegally park here with my trailer. I don't think you can. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go to bed. Night, night. Turn the engine off. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna sleep on the ground in front of my truck. It's a nice night. Can you do that in real life? Is that illegal? I don't think so. I don't think you can sleep anywhere. I think you have to go to locations that are legal. So we can get a horrible night's sleep in this truck. There's no, I can't. Aff there's no sleeper cabs available yet. Um, well, no, it will be. It's like the model has it, but I haven't unlocked it yet in the game. Alright, so we're going to move on with a bad night's sleep and a stiff neck and a sore back. You sleep on the ground? You, and the truck is, the cab is too small really to sleep in because you can't, the seats won't go back. I mean, it's a flat back truck, you know what I mean? So the back of the truck is right there. You can't back those seats down. That was, I could not be a truck oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. You can't what? Like I said, I couldn't be a truck driver if you can't sleep in your vehicle. Oh, I know. Well, most of them you can. I mean, nowadays, you almost never see a truck... Unless it's a daytime truck, you know what I mean? Like what they use just to go around town. You, well, you do. You never see over-the-road trucks that don't have sleeper cabs. The only ones that don't have sleeper cabs are ones where they're just traveling for a day. Or you have to stay in a hotel, you know, that, that takes truckers, which is hard to find even. Oops, screwed up. You know, I don't mind the, the lower horsepower engine. It doesn't seem like it's really struggling much. Well, maybe here a little bit. So we are now just two hours away from the location. It is the middle of the night. It's going to be a construction site, I can guarantee it. Actually, it's three in the morning, so... We're going to pick up speed and get to the destination here shortly. Would you want to play this game even more if they made it to scale? To scale? Yeah. Oh, I'd love that. I don't think they ever will, but it would be awesome to have a, like... Like the real road, everybody wants the real roads. A lot of people are, you know, whining about the game that it doesn't have the real roads. That they're not the the routes aren't true to true to the actual way that they would run, and they're not. You think truckers that actually play this game? For fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a couple on my my channel. I think William Tesser, um, Steve Learman, um, who else? There's a couple. There's a, several guys that are truckers that play this game that watch my channel, and they all like it. So it gets in your blood, I guess. I probably, uh, now that I'm older, I wouldn't make as good of a trucker. I don't have the, the back strength, I think, because I'm pretty sure truckers have to really know how to work on their trucks and stuff. Um, unless you're a company man. I think if, you're, if you, run your own, you run your own business, you really have to be a mechanic along with a trucker, you know. But I'm pretty sure that if you were... Um, what were we talking about? What? Truck. You can tell I'm tired. I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, oh, I think that you have to have, yeah, you have to have a lot of strength, body, body strength to be a trucker. Because a lot of times the things that you have to do to make, especially as an owner-operator, you, you, changing a tire, for example, is just a disaster. It's a nightmare. And you have to have a strong back and a really strong, you know, there are out-of-shape guys that do it, but you're... You're running the risk of getting injured. Did it snow more tonight? Why we got a plow down here? It snowed a lot. It was snowing, a lot. It was snowing from like probably, I would say, like eight until like an hour ago. Oh, really? I didn't know that. It's because it's been dark out. I haven't really seen it. Yeah, I haven't been staring at it. You're right. I see a plow out there. There's a plow out in front of our house. And it oh, must have been snowing. They just do the circle. They don't do the whole... Oh, or is that a... Part. Uh huh? That's plow. He's doing the middle part. Right is he doing the middle? Okay. Where's 
stupid thing you're supposed to get. So anyway, I think I'm probably past my prime, unless I can get myself back in shape. But then again, they don't make any money, so it's kind of like, why would I want to be a trucker if I can make more money being a photographer? I do love driving. It is true. It's in my blood. I love to drive. Where do you get that from now? Your family be a trucker? I don't know. When I, from the time I was a kid, I loved driving. I loved it. As soon as, when I got my car, when, when I, I got my temps when I was 15 and a half years old, like as soon as I could get them. And I drove, and I drove, and I, my mom could not believe how much I love driving. She's like, we're going to drive? I'm like, yeah, let's go. I just drove, I just would drive to drive. I like to drive. And I, that's why I like it going out west, because it's so beautiful. I mean, like, every like, drive is like an adventure. I like driving, but I really don't sometimes. Yeah, see, no, you and Mark don't get, don't get driving like I did. By the time I was your age, I had driven, like, all over the country. I mean, I just, it, it's... I'd like to do that, but I can't. I'm stuck here in Ohio. Yeah, stuck in Ohio. Stuck in Cleveland. Oh. The one thing I will say about the... This truck does not roll as easily as the other one does. So it's like I'm, I'm braking and all of a sudden I'm like totally stopped. Like, whoa! Maybe more efficient brakes or something. What's that? Why I like Washington. Washington State. Washington? Especially like the Seattle. I like Washington. Like, I, I, don't I don't think I could live there because of the so rain. Cold and rainy. I'm like, well, she's like, you don't have like warm beaches. I'm like, yeah, well, if you live somewhere like that, you don't have to worry about the humidity. 14 to 20. I'm like, hey, don't I don't agree with that. Oh, this isn't this. I thought we were going to go to the construction site, but we're not. We're going to an actual delivery point. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think that it's um, it's rainy, but I don't think it's like real it's cold. Not, I thought it's, not cold, it's like cold. 60s or 50s, but uh, winter time, it's like. It's definitely times warmer than Ohio can be. Yeah, it doesn't get snow like Ohio does. Sometimes it gets snow, but not much. It's not like a it's not like a snowy environment. It's pretty. It's real pretty in the summer. I like every way everything's. That's why I like because everything's green there. Always. It is. Yes, Washington is very very green, and you've got the mountains, and the volcanoes, and the now the mountains have a lot of snow. You know, Mount Rainier is. It's like an. An old father. That's gonna be fun to move, live somewhere like that because I've lived in such a boring state my entire life. And it's similar to it's similar to Ohio, but it's like that's why I loved it. Different. I loved it. Oh, I loved it so much. I do like this. I like being able to see out of the back of the truck. Maybe I won't put a sleeper on there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I can actually look out the back of my truck and and park. This is so much easier. Of course, this is an easy. This is the easiest parking spot this game has given me so far. But that's really cool that I can do that and actually get like a back, a bird's eye view of my backing abilities. <laughs> no, 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 please. Chase, no. I, have a, I have a mission where I gotta carry eggs back to the egg carrying mission the base, but like there's monsters that will chase you down if I see you carrying it. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to get to the next area and see him running behind me. So our goal is to repay this loan once we get closer. We're a long way away, four hundred thousand dollars. All right, so we've delivered our trailer. We're gonna make some money. Here comes some money. I do you like to pay attention to detail. When you climb and you have the egg, your character's climb speed slows down and you go up. Egg climbing. Okay, so we've reached level seven, right? On no, level six, we're an enthusiast now. Enthusiast. Uh, I'm gonna add one more long distance. Now we can go all over the place. But I need a sleeper cab. Let's see what's available at the store. Um, so we're gonna hop in here and take a look and see on our menu what we got. Oops, that's not what I want. There. Okay, we've got new upgrades available. Oh, look, so these, they do have Cummings engines as part of their, Cummings engines as part of the uh, options. we got a six, two 600 horsepower options. And we have a deflector day cab. 455 horsepower Packer engine available for $47,000. Whoa. These have got to be for Big trucks. something different. But I don't think we can put these in ours, but... We also have a better transmission, Seagull wheels, Kenworth gets a 455 horsepower Packer engine for Kenworth, really? And day cab reflector, 
How much is that? That's a thousand dollars. What's the funny thing is, it's actually going to be five thousand dollars if you put this on because if I put that on, it's going to erase my paint job and I'm going to have to do it over again. So I'm not. That'll improve efficiency, but I'm not going to do it because that erases your paint job. What? Do that erases your paint job. Yes. However, we have these two. Like I said, we have the Cummins diesels available for what? For the three eighty nine, maybe. And this is available for our five seventy nine. Okay, so I don't think you can put these in. Interesting. Are you coming back? Okay. So anyway, I think that ends our trip for the day. We've made twenty one thousand uh, dollars. The other driver has made a little bit of money. I think he made like a thousand something. So we can take a real quick look at the company manager and see how our garage is doing. Um, let's see. Select the garage for details. So we're at 36% productivity, but we've only got two people running right now. Um, our profit is $66,000 for the week, though we've only driven for two days. So our average daily profit is $10,000. That's good news right now. It doesn't sound like much, but it's more than our loan payment. So we're if the average daily is $9,500 and our loan payment is $5,800, we're making about $4,000 profit after the expenses. So that's okay it's not a ton of money but very quickly as, as i level up and as my driver levels up and actually we need to go into here and make him he needs to be putting his his uh we want to make him Stupid. long distance first so we, we'll get him to level three on long distance and then we'll start doing these two and then moving the fragile um how much money has he made it's 163 dollars a day <laughs> he'll get better they, they get better as they go it's um, better than a part-time job, though. Right, and I don't think you know, now I've got enough money to make. I haven't made a payment yet, so uh, the payment's going to be coming soon. But we'll have the money there to pay the payment, so that's good. I was nervous that the first day we were going to go into the red, but we haven't gone into the red, and I've actually gone the opposite direction. So we're doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and uh, I'm excited. This these videos, I'm shocked at how well the series is doing, but. Um, you know, when I put it up there within two or three days, I've got five, 600 views. So, uh, you guys obviously like this stuff. And so I'll continue to do it as long as I keep getting the views and the thumbs up and stuff. I'm, I'm going to continue. So, uh, I kind of dumped Euro truck simulator pretty quickly, but I think this, you know, I'll, I'll go back and we'll do Euro truck simulator again, some more too. Um, and, uh, I'm glad you guys like this channel. So I will see you on the road.